This is Dr. Andrew Jones. Can you use topical CBD THC on your dogs or cats? If you stay and watch this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you can and can't do and how you can start using it to help your pets. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna show you a couple things. So to begin with, it's soon to be my daughter's birthday. She's actually turning 14, but for some reason or not, I have this traditional piñata creation and she doesn't wanna let it go. So this year is gotta be bigger and better. So here, this is the giant piñata. <laughs> This is only day two. Yeah, another one of my many uh, handy creations. Some of the more skills that you learn when you go on to a second career that involves being at home. When I get to the finished product, which is about four or five days, I'll show you guys. I even captured a little video of my piñata being destroyed. Too late here is a little bit tired. We had a pretty busy big biking weekend. She probably ran for over five hours. But she's a little trooper. So with all the Tula's biking, along with her sort of mild skin allergy, she's got some sore muscles, a bit of inflamed skin, and she's a real good candidate to consider uh, some type of topical CBD THC cream. So there's a couple different forms to have the CBD and the THC. Uh, so this is the traditional classic tincture um, this is one from one of the local dispensaries and it's a combination of CBD, which is cannabidiol. So that's the primary uh, component of the cannabis plant that's non-psychoactive that seems to be benefiting most of our animals. Um, but it also has a certain portion of THC, so that's a psychoactive portion. The important thing to remember about THC though it is it's thought that it's better to give uh, some pain relief for. Um, it seems to be beneficial for some of the animals and obviously people that have cancer. So I mean there's different conditions that benefit our ourselves, our pets, um, based on the components of, of what's coming out of that plant. Um, when we're going to use it topically there's a couple different options. One you can still use the tincture. I actually used it on my dog Lewis. Um, we'll try a little bit on Atula. And then I also have a cream here and it's called Buddha Butter. Um, aptly named, probably more like by a marketer. And once again, it's a, it looks like it's a 50-50 combination of CBD and THC in a, a base, a coconut oil base. So it's something that'd be safe uh, to also consume if your dog happened to lick a little bit of it. But the big thing about it is, is it can be put on topically. I've actually used it for some really sore muscles, found it to work really, really well. So the big thing uh, about CBD and THC um, especially given in combination topically, is that we know that it's anti-inflammatory, so it's going to help with inflammation. Think about the inflammation from pain. We know that it's going to be antipyritic, so it's going to deal with some of those dogs that have allergies, especially a localized area of their skin that's really inflamed. And it's also immune modulating, so it's going to sort of somewhat normalize that immune system. So when we're thinking of these dogs that have allergies, if they've got this overactive immune system that's sending all these in causing all these in, these cells to degan degranulate, um, triggering this whole inflammatory cascade. Their skin gets red and they itch, and it gets worse and worse. So it's a real good option to consider. You know, for instance, I had a, a client right in who said that their dog has a thing called a lick granuloma, where they're licking a certain part of their leg. This could be a real good option for it. So what would you use? How would you start using it on your your pets? Um, I think the cream. Um, it's probably the easiest thing, and this has got a 50-50 combination of THC, CBD, and it's also got a base, a coconut oil base. So we know if they do happen to lick it, um, it's not going to harm them. Secondly, the primary use would be we're giving it to a localized area, either a real localized skin infection, it's local and inflamed, I'm thinking of something like a lick granuloma, and or they've got a really painful joint, Say, for instance, your dog has a knee condition, you know, such as they've strained their ACL, they've got secondary knee arthritis. Then you could just try to locally treat that knee. <clears throat> so let's just try some on Tool. I'll show you how easy it would be to give. And I'll maybe give you a little update in a few weeks to see it's helping or not. Go, girl. 
to. Oh, girl, you... So, we did a lot of biking. She doesn't actually seem to be super sore. But your little groin, she's been doing a whole lot of licking in her groin here. It's a little bit red. Now, I don't want you to be lathering this all over your dog. What I want you to be doing is just giving it, you know, in a, in a localized area. You know, do it twice a day, do it for a week, see if it's beneficial. Go girl you. It's not going to taste especially good. I think most of these guys are not going to want to lick it. There are you. Okay. Pretty simple, easy thing to give. I also did use some of this topical tincture. I just had a real super, super painful part of my leg. I've got a condition called a tendinopathy where some of the tendons degenerated. And I just tried the tincture topically and it seemed to really help. You know, within about 30 minutes, I just I saw a whole lot of the inflammation going down. And so primarily, because what it's doing is it's got a pain-killing effect or analgesic effect. It's got an anti-inflammatory portion. Acute inflammation, like an allergy, and, and thirdly, this immune modulating, and all that can come from the topical application. So, is it going to help every dog or every cat owner that tries it? It's going to help your pets? No, not everyone. Will it help some? Quite likely. Go ahead and discuss it with your veterinarian. Obviously, there's other issues around. Is it available in your state or your province? Hopefully, soon it will be. It's becoming more and more quote unquote mainstream. Pets, especially as veterinarians are seeing the benefit uh, with their pets. I mean, because it, it's a natural product with very few side effects. Uh, a, a real big upside is being really beneficial uh, for so many of our common veteran conditions. And you know, it's really crazy not to sort of incorporate that as you know, part of a healing regimen. So thank you guys for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click up there to subscribe to my channel. Click down there to like this video. Then lastly, click further down there in the box below. And then when you do that and you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free books, my free videos, and how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.